we're going to beat these bastards and they're never coming here again. And I've never been more worried than I am right now about them coming here again. And if we don't do something, they're coming here again. I've never seen more groups with more capability, with more weapons, with more safe haven, with more money to attack us than any time since 9-11. Barack Obama's foreign policy is a miserable failure. Radical Islam is on the rise. Those who want to hurt our country are stronger than ever, and our friends like Israel are afraid. We used to be concerned, and we still should be, about someone from abroad coming to America and carrying out a terrorist attack, and that threat is still there. Then we were concerned about someone in this country going abroad and being ra radicalized and coming back. And that threat is still there. And now we face the threat of someone who is in this country, has never left this country, and yet is radicalized online, and as a result is inspired to carry out a terrorist act. Now, I, I sit on the Intelligence Committee in the United States Senate. I've done so for four and a half years. I have no reason to exaggerate to you what I'm about to say. The risks this country faces today are greater than they were the day I took office. They increase exponentially with each one of these un, un, disclosures that are being made. With every time a, a traitor discloses American secrets to the world, our enemies find ways to evade our intelligence. And we are going to pay a terrible price one day. Because there are thousands of people around this world, and even as I speak to you now, are plotting to kill Americans here and abroad. This risk is real. It is not hyperbole. And it needs to be confronted. He yelled out Aluha Akbar as he did. And yet, in the administration's eyes, they could not acknowledge this was radical Islamic terrorism. If we want to turn things around, if we want to restore American leadership in the world, the first thing we've got to do is tell the truth. You cannot defeat radical Islamic terrorism with a president and an administration unwilling to utter the words radical Islamic terrorism.